okay, so we got the old uh, water wheel running here. Let's shut our hose down. Okay, so here's the uh, wheel of many spoons. Uh, definitely a pain in the butt to get all them fastened on. Uh, what did we do? Use the e-bike hub. Okay, so that's your standard bike hub, and just fasten the spoons onto the uh, onto the exterior of the uh, of the rim using the spokes and uh, one self-tapping screw. These are all spoons that I picked up from um, second-hand store. Uh, cut the stumps off of them and uh, and fastened them on there. And so here it is, my crude crude uh, stand for it. Not my best work, but. Uh, um, more proof of concept than anything. Anyway, um, seems to work pretty good, I guess. I can get, uh, 14 to 16 volts out of it just off the, uh, garden hose here. So we'll get it fired up and we'll see if we can get her moving here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it sprays lots of water around as well. So there it is. Moving along. Um, I do have to uh, fix a couple of things here. Let's see if we can get a shot of it uh, making power here without getting the camera too terribly wet. Hmm. Yeah, kind of a wet endeavor working with hydropower here. Okay, so here is our. <sighs> Okay, here's our voltmeter. We're on 200 volts AC. And we'll fire this machine up here if I can. Oh my goodness. I'm getting very wet. Okay. Here we are. Red to red. Black to black. Ooh, I can feel it making power. It's tickling. If I get that to stay on there. Okay, so there we're making power now. At 13 and a half. I got a not a very good connection here. Just kind of holding on with my fingers haphazardly. And so we're making just about 14 volts there. See if we can hit 14. Yeah, there it is. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, so there it is. So it's just with the garden hose. I imagine once we get a bit of. Uh, bit of water moving to it. should spin a little bit faster. Oh yeah, there we are. 14.3, 14.4. Maybe it's building up a bit of speed, a bit of charge. But I'm sure that has more to do with, uh, with the uh, capacitance of this system. Building up a steady charge. And uh, yeah, so there it is. And it's three phase AC. And we'll shut that off now. And so there it is, the old homemade uh, hydropower generator. Makes power, just like it's supposed to. So far for my cost, uh, what's this thing gonna be costing here? It was 60 bucks for the e-bike, uh, about 10 bucks for the spoons, and probably another $10 in hardware, so we're up to about 80 bucks. Not too bad, not too good though. I'll try to keep it under $100, but we'll see how it all pans out in the end. Anyway, that's her.